This is the X96 Mini with the latest S905W Amalogic processor. Now, can it run Libra Rec? There's been a number of reports of people saying that they've managed to boot KZAX Libra Rec from their Tanix DX3, which has the S905W. So we're going to be attempting this today to see if we can do this. They've said to use S905X DTB files, and if you're not sure what the hell that is, don't worry, I will get to that throughout this video. Anyway, my name's Matthew, and you're watching another video by the MXQ Project. So let's go and download LibreLec for the S905. I'll leave the other links in the description for you. Click on the 8.2 as shown, then click on just 8.2.2, I think it is. It'll probably change depending on when you watch this video. Now download this file just, just here. This is the one I'm gonna be using. You can download the one above it, but I'm gonna be using this one, so download this one. Now make sure that downloads and then transfer it to your desktop you might need to unzip that and then once it's unzipped you should have a dot image file as shown now the next thing we're going to be using win32 disk image install that again the links will be in the description and it's very simple to use this program all we're going to do is load up that um, image file that we've downloaded obviously insert your sd card so that's a good time fire it into your laptop or pc and then select it using win32 disk imager and then select the image file as shown so there's this one here and then click open and all you need to do now is click right. So now we need to go back to KZAX S905 directory. Now we need to go and grab something called a DTB file and you might have noticed just under here that it says device trees. Now this is where all our DTB files are stored. So click into there and then click S905X. Now the reason we're doing that is because these DTB files are the ones that are meant to be reported to work on S905W devices. So this is the one we need. So we'll just click into here. And then you'll be presented with all these different ones. Now the X96 Mini has one gigabyte RAM. I do think there's a two gigabyte version. But the one just on top here is the one I'm gonna be using. If you've got a two gigabyte RAM S905W device and you can attempt to use all these two gigabyte RAM DTP files. But I've got one gigabyte RAM, so this is the one I'm gonna be using. So I'll download that. Then we can move on now to the final step of this prepping the SD card. Okay, so let's grab that DTB file we've downloaded and we need to rename it to DTB.IMG. So DTB.image as shown. And then just select yes and confirm and then it'll change it to this. So it's now an image file. Now what we need to do is we need to open up that SD card, the one we've just burnt LibreLec to. We need to open it up. And then we need to find the DTB file that's already preloaded onto that image file and we need to delete it. Again, delete that image file. And that image file what we've just renamed DTB.image, all you gotta do is simply drag and drop into the SD card. And now we can move over to the actual boot process using our X96 Mini. Right, so this process is pretty much the same as everything else. We've got our SD card, we've got our TV box ready. But you might need to swap around those DTB files a few times before you actually get it to boot. But that's pretty simple, you can just follow the DTB process before. So insert our SD card into your device. So the X96 Mini, which I'm using here with the S905W. And then we need to locate the reset button. So on this device, it is inside the AV port. But it could be somewhere else on your device, it really depends on your hardware. The W95, for example, it's got it underneath. That is a Beelik product, by the way, if you've seen our review and our update guide on that. So inside this AV port, there is a little button, and you need to locate that with something thin and sharp, like shown. Make sure you actually find it, because it can be difficult sometimes. Insert your HDMI cable, get your TV ready, ready to go, so you can recognize whether it's working or not. And then simply hold in this little button and then apply power. This is exactly the same process for pretty much all TV boxes that we've booted LibreLec from. And then once it, you'll see the LibreLec logo, you can release the reset button and you won't actually have to repeat that either. So there we go. So there we go, the X96 can boot LibreLec. I was quite lucky actually just to select that one DTB file and it works straight away. You might need to change a few of those DTB files around, so follow that guide again 
and just try the different ones until you get one to boot just make sure you delete the DTB files before you actually attempt to use another one because you don't want two on there of course so as you can see Wi-Fi working as well USB ports are working and yeah it's working absolutely great I can't I don't know whether it's going to be perfectly stable or not Kzak at some point will look at this and implement this properly into his builds. But as you can see, LibreLeck is working absolutely fine on this device. Whether it works on yours perfectly or not, I have no idea. It is just a case of attempting it. And it will not break your box if you do, do find that it doesn't work or not. Because at the end of the day, we're only booting it from an SD card. So here we have it. This is YouTube playing on the X96 Mini using LibreLeck. And it's absolutely fine. There's no stuttering. There's no playback issues at all. And so far, I think the LibreLeck is going to be absolutely fine on this. Obviously, Kzak will have to look at it at some point, I would imagine, to see, you know, you know, give out some proper support for it and, you know, fix any issues that might be there that I'm not aware of. You know, it won't be perfect. There will be stability issues somewhere, I would imagine. But as far as I can tell, it's running absolutely fine. You'll be able to install add-ons on this. You'll be able to install builds onto this, I would have thought. You might even be able to install the MSQ Retro Gaming Experience build onto this. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. I'm sure there's some stability issues somewhere. But as far as just a you know basic system so far, Kodi is absolutely fine. And if you're not familiar with LibreLeck, it's just an operating system built to purely run Kodi. So as far as Kodi is concerned, it's absolutely fine. So I really hope this you enjoyed this video. Really hope it helped you get more out of your S905W device, especially this X96 Mini. It's very, very cheap and it can do so much stuff so far, so really good stuff. I mean, the Android system on it is pretty good anyway. I mean, it's not perfect, but, you know, it's £19, which is about $24. So what do you expect, basically? Anyway, my name's Matthew, and you've been watching another tutorial by the MXQ Project. Don't forget to visit the website, mxqproject.com. Tutorials, reviews, etc. on there. Twitter, at MXQ Project, as well as the Facebook group. Again, all those links will be in the description. Please comment and tell me how you got on with this, if it worked, if it didn't work, and so on. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we shall see you very, very soon.